All right, the video's on. All right, Shalom. First off, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. And we want to give double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honors and salutations unto you, brothers, you fellow laborers, uh, uh, in this truth. All right. Uh, um, you know, that's putting in this work, man. So, yeah, we want to um, just go into a lesson and wherever the spirit drives it from there, but basically on how, um, you know, on, on, on how the, uh, the ancient uh, prophets, you know, even uh, the disciples, which went, went on to be apostles, all right, how they were, they were persecuted, all right, how two-thirds always um, set snares for them, all right, attempted to, to put them to death, actually put them to death, you know. It's, it's, it's a lot of accounts for basically on on how um, right um, this time the Lord is allowing his his prophets and his word to prosper, you know, and he, and um, and Satan is, is not even hindering these these demons. There's nothing nobody can do about it, you know. Like the scripture said, if the Most High before us, who could be against us? You know, you actually see that all right from our apostles and elders on down, you know. Um, Brothers are going uh, stronger than ever, ever in the spirit, you know, pushing out edifying content uh, day in and day out, okay? And and, it's, and these scoffers, these scorners, all right, nobody, not even Esau, uh, so-called police authority, can hinder this word nor get us off them highways and hedges, all right? It's going to get to a point where, where Esau is going to have to um, pull the plug on this, on this internet, you know, because this word is becoming... Uh, so much of a nuisance, and it's, and it's hey man, it's pretty much did its, did its job, you know. It's hey man, this word has went out through the four corners of the earth, you know. Now we're we're in the time of just overkill now with this word until you saw pull the plug, all right. But the point being that how um, you know the the uh, the Most High Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, he's um he's not allowing his prophets to be harmed anymore, man. You know, he's he's allowing them to uh. uh to be preserved and to um, push forward this word, man. All right, he, the Lord is using His prophets as vessels, man. Okay, and as the scriptures say, that uh, the angels encamp around them that fear uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, go ahead, bring it out. Matter of fact, Psalm thirty-four and seven. The angel of the Lord encamp around about them that fear Him and deliver. Yeah, so, like, when we out there in the highways and hedges, we out there basically, like, living out Romans 12 and 1. Yeah. Our bodies are a living sacrifice because a dude can come up there with a gun or whatever or make, you know, threats at us and everything while we out there in the highways and hedges. But we have that hope, that faith in the Lord and that fear in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that he's going to keep us safe while we're out there doing the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the angels are out there protecting us through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because there's been plenty of times where stuff's been escalated and de-escalated real quick just because the angels that surround us. Because any other, any other like, niggas out there, they was in situations that we've been in, it would have been bad. And, and it went totally left field for them, but it always went right for us because we, we, um, we doing the right things in the eyes of y'all, Basham, y'all shot. Yep. And, and if you look, um, back on the, on the past accounts of the, um, of the, of the, uh, Past uh, prophets, all right, the apostles, they always, hey, Yahweh Shai, this word stirs up, um, stirs up spirits, man, all right, you know, because it's not for everybody, and it's and it's the truth. Out of a world full of lies, we have the truth, you know. So these people are going to bug out. They're going to get demons on them that recognize the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai on us, all right. We're going to have Satan, you know, uh, uh, attempt to plague us in our mind. Wow, 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 um throwing demons our way throughout the, throughout uh, our daily basis, man. At the end of the day, we're we're um we're protected by uh by the angels of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We we're the only ones that fear. Out of a nation full of Israelites, man, we're the only ones that fear uh, the name and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, and it's and, and Ephesians six and uh, ten on down. You know, we're we're protected uh, uh with this with the spiritual armor. Along with the angels, you know, hey, we're we're in the we're in the safe place of the heavenly Father because we have the names, you know. So we're 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 totally uh, protected, and we have to uh, 
maintain faith in that, man. You know, and it's not, and don't take it as, as a light, light thing. You know, it's very, it's very uh, critical and important. Go ahead, bro. This is uh, this is the Rock two and six. Believe in Him, and He will help thee. Word mm. thy way aright, and trust in Him. So, like going with you were saying, you gotta gotta believe that the Lord gonna gonna be with you. Have faith. You know, have have faith that what you're doing is the right thing, and that any situation you get into, the Lord is going to deliver you out of it. Like all the other prophets and our forefathers, when um, like. Like David, like Daniel, when he went to Lions, then he, uh, he he had kept, had that faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai that nothing was going to happen to him. He had that fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai, and the lions didn't touch him. And then what happened when the other the other people, the other heathens came in there? They got put to death. And the lions ate them. John, I got a uh, a quick precept. All right, and then um, and look, brothers, have anything else? We we can jump into the, the initial. Scriptures. This is uh, Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. But, but without faith, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that He is, and that He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Oh, you. oh yeah. yeah without, without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Mm -hmm. So that's really you got to have faith first and first and foremost. All right, because if you don't have any faith, then the Lord isn't going to help you, basically. All right, and faith is a gift from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh And if you are lacking on that, you should be praying to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh to increase your faith. You know, seeing everything that you see and being walking your path in is true. Your faith should constantly be increasing. It shouldn't be stagnant. Yeah. After and all the different things that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai shows you. Yeah, and if I can say this, I um, kind of, kind of uh, circling back to how well, the brother initially, the lesson that was, you know, coming out, is that two thirds of our people? They do not have that faith. All right, that's why when the prophets came of old, right? Because the Most High, He always sent out the prophets. Hey, uh, brother, can you get uh, Hebrews the first chapter? Okay, that's the spirit. Oh, think about that. Right. So, yeah. in, in through the, in the beginning, right, the, the prophets were called seers, right? The Lord has always sent His prophets out to His people, and countless times the people rejected rejected the prophet uh the main prophet being Yahweh shy our lord he was rejected of our people all right that's why he died he died on the cross okay now this go around the lord is not going to allow that to happen even even though that like the scripture saying in the book of revelation how there's going to be martyrs for the most high all right but the majority of the the men all right those teachers all right uh, we can go into the scripture isaiah 30 and 20 we got that on deck the teachers they're not going to be backed into that corner anymore, meaning all Israel is going to see the prophets. All right? and, and now how the society is set up, Israel is not going to be able to kill the prophets now. All right, The prophets are going to be able to uh, endure until the end. Now, can you get that out? Hey, Gun, this is uh, Hebrews 1 and 1. The Most High, who at sundry times and in diverse manners spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, having these last days, spoken unto us by his son whom he hath appointed heir of all things by whom also he hath he hath uh by whom also he made the worlds yeah so so um so at sundry times in diverse in diverse manners uh yahweh by shem yal shai he sent he sent his prophets out on the earth okay to talk to the fathers meaning to talk to the the, the leaders of israel to talk to the mass of israel now the mass of israel rejected the prophets all right, and you can read that throughout all the countless stories, how uh, Jake, okay, you Israelites, you black, Latinos, and Native Americans, you rejected and you killed the prophets. Now, this time ago, this time around, uh, you're not going to be able to do that. Are right, you going to see your prophets? You're going to see, and you're going to know that Yahweh Shemal Shai is, is with his men. All right, Lord's will, we be, we be part of that number. All right, you're not going to be able to roll up on us. You're not going to be able to stone us, okay, like you did Stephen. All right, Stephen cut the hell out of you, you wicked scribes and Pharisees, and he was he and you have the power to put him to death. All right, like the uh, the forty men that, that that took a vow to eat nor drink until they have uh, slain Paul. Are right, you're not going to be able to do that this time? All right, because Esau's going to roll on your ass. And countless countless times we be at camp, and just like the brother he read the scripture, how the angels in camp around around uh, around the men of the Lord, 
a lot of things get de-escalated, which should turn out uh, way worse than what it what it should be. Okay, the Most High, He's with He's with His prophets out there, man. He's with His men out there on the highways and the byways, prophesying the downfall of America, or right, prophe prophesying the destruction of the, the destruction of the two thirds, which are you you Negro, Hispanic, and Native Americans. All right, it, it, a lot of death and destruction is going to come to you. Okay. All right, so um, unless brother had a, a, another scripture, I'm going to go on to Isaiah 30, 30 and 20. Okay. All right, so this is Isaiah 30 and 20, and then, you know, Jake can break it down. This is Isaiah 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into the corner anymore, but thy eyes shall... Yeah. Uh, you can finish it off. Yes, yeah, it says, uh, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore, but thy eyes shall see thy teachers. That's right, man. That's right. You're um, and you're seeing your teachers, man. All right, be it whatever uh, the nearest camps near you. All right, on the YouTube, you know, starting with the the apostle and elders of Great Millstone on down. You know, that's actually um, on the highways and hedges that's commanded week in and week out. You know, and, and what, uh, can you, um, can you re repeat the first part, Bubba Kashad? Gun, it says, Isaiah 30 and 20, and though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction. Yeah, that's right. That's what we get. All right. When we get this word, all right, you know, you, you get, uh, the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, you know, cause we're being, uh, we're being baptized through Yahweh Shai, which, which, uh, that fire, man, all right, which is those afflictions, you know, that's all you're going to catch in, the, in this, in this truth, all right, you get, you get, you know, you get, um, the Lord, uh, lays up on, on you, all right, and, and then, and then turns, and in turn, he, he strengthens you, you know, so that you can, uh, overcome, all right, you endure, make, to be made hardened, okay, so you become stronger, all right, your faith be increased, you know, and you continue the, the battle, all right? You know, you continue those those obstacles. But basically, um, uh, uh, can, you, can you continue that on uh, from the top again? Yeah, this is Isaiah yeah. 30 and 20. And though the Lord give you the bread of adversity and the water of affliction, yet shall not thy teachers be removed into a corner anymore. But thy right, eyes man. shall see thy teachers. Yeah, and, and you're seeing your teachers, man, all right? You know, that's, uh, I, I, I can try to look up that, um, that precept, uh, uh basically somewhere to the turn, to, uh, to the, to the, um, around the, the manner of, uh, I think the Lord set up us, the apostles last order. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll get that. I'll get that. Uh, go ahead. Uh, this, uh, this Isaiah 14 and, and 24 the Lord of hosts have sworn, saying, Surely as I have thought, so shall it come to pass, and as I have purpose, so shall it stand. So the Lord, he got us, he got us out there, so we, that's why we're going to stand out there. That's why he's continuing, us, continuing to stand out there. It was, the Lord had us set up, the prophet set up to condemn this society one last time, and then the missile's going to touch down everything else, and we get our kingdom. So the Lord, the Lord, he had set us up out there so that we can't be touched anymore, man. We're not going to be like the past prophets where they got put to death and they um, they got hands laid on them. We don't get we don't get hands laid on us because like we read earlier in Psalms, the angels of the Lord are around us, protecting us so that we can continue to bring out this word and continually bring this place down. Yeah. Yeah, I got that scripture for you, Ot. Come on, Bubba you can bring it out. Yeah, this is first print. This is 1 Corinthians 4 and 9. For I think that the Most High has set forth us, the apostles last, as it were appointed to death. Yeah, but like the, um, the Lord said that there will be men uh, among you who, who will not uh, uh, see, uh, see or taste of death, you know. This is this is a uh, different this, this go around, you know. The Lord is not uh, set up, hasn't set up his his prophets, all right, to be uh, um, to be total martyrs, all right, to just be slayed like like in the past times. This this time is, is different, man. They're actually going to be um, vessels used to uh, glorify Yahweh Shai and, and his and his power, 
okay, to receive those those new bodies, all right, spiritual power on, on the highest on the highest uh, level there is, you know, the Lord is going to give that as a reward unto his, unto his servants, all right? There's going to be certain men that are going to be martyrs, you know, for denying the R for the microchip because it, it is written. At the same time, those those same men are going to be risen first uh, in the chariots with the Yahweh and the angels on the, um, on the way back to deliver the elect, you know? So uh, a lot a lot of the elect, man, they're going to, hey, man, they're, still, they're going to be here to be delivered. All right, and, and, and what to, um, they receive spiritual power, you know, and to execute judgment, like Jeremiah uh, sixteen and sixteen verse, you know, uh, chapter sixteen verse sixteen, you know, those fishers being turned into hunters, man, getting revenge for all for all the um for all the hell that you put on put on the prophets, you know, in this lifetime and, and the past lifetimes, you know, because as the scriptures say, a lot of the prophets are. are are subject unto the prophets, man. You know, so it's the same man coming back into their uh, into their rightful lot, man. You know, just like the two thirds, okay. Just, uh, along with everybody, man. There's nothing. There's nothing new under the sun. Go ahead, Ike. You had. Oh yeah. So, 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 so. Uh, Psalms one hundred five, verse fourteen. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yeah. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, "Touch not mine anointed." And do my prophets no harm. Mm. That's it. That's beautiful. You see that? So the most high. Oh, hey, hey, go ahead, Shamar. Uh, read it again, and you can go into it, brother. Let's go. He suffered no man to do them wrong. Yea, he reproved kings for their sake, saying, "Touch not mine anointed, and do my prophets no harm." So that's why we, we don't have any harm coming towards us. Because if Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, first and foremost, ordained us to be out there, saying, do my prophets no harm. Because it's like he, he, he allowed it to happen back then because it was to glorifying his name back in those times. Now he's going to glorify his name in a different way by having us out there proclaiming his downfall of this place before it even comes to pass. And people always say it on the comment boards that when they watch the videos, how, is, how are you guys still out there without anybody coming to attack you? I'm going to be out there next week, this and that. But you're not going to do anything because the Lord is not with it. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah, and, and with that, we can um, do the spirit transition off to that um, to that in First Kings, the 22nd chapter. Yeah, kind of. You know, because um, we, uh, we're about to pull out with basically um, the prophet... Uh, Makai, 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 yeah, Makai, Makai, basically, um, he, he, um, he prophesied to the, uh, the king of Israel, you know, of what will be, um, befall him if you went to, um, Ramoth, Ramoth Gilead, the battle, okay, he basically told him the truth that he was gonna die, you know, he was gonna be judged, and what, he, he, uh, the king of Israel wanted to hear the false prophets because they spoke smooth on him. You know, so it was actually a king of, of, of Israel, you know, and, and, and what he, he uh, which we're going to go into. He uh, he, he imprisoned, he imprisoned uh, Micah and he sat on the, uh, I believe, the water of affliction, you know, so he put him away. You know, we, we're, uh, yeah, we're just going to bring it, uh, go into it through the spirit and, and, you know, bring it out. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to start a little, I'm going to start a little uh, above to get a little bit of the context. So this is first, uh, first Kings. Uh, 22 and 20 and the Lord said who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramah mm -hmm. Gilead and one said that's right that's, a beautiful, that's, that's beautiful no no go ahead go ahead, I, go ahead I. and one said on this manner and another said on the, that manner that's right and, and that goes to show that there, there's order in the heavens you know the Lord the Lord was having a council with, with the different uh, spirits different angels and, and um and basically uh um they were bidding for uh what should they what um would they do you know to uh to cause the king of Israel to fall at Ramoth Gilead it was, his judgment was already set was already written it was just about how he was going to be put to death you know so so uh yes yeah, it's, it's going into the um the council that the Lord had in heavens with the angels all right go ahead I uh, verse 21 and there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said I will persuade him 
Verse 22, and the Lord said unto him, wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. That's right. False prophets, man. You know, speaking, speaking, um, smooth words, lying words, all right, divination, basically speaking lies, man. Okay. Just like a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, false prophets that we see, all right, dealing with our nation, all right, those in the Harlot houses. You know, uh, Farrah Coon, okay, even guys, even guys that, that claim they're Israelites, okay, you got your Nate, you got your Gehenna, all right, so, such on and so forth, man, all right, they're all, they're all false prophets to, to sway uh, the simple-minded of, of the two-thirds of Israel, you know, to uh, ultimately for them not to receive the truth, so yeah, um, that the angel basically bid to the Lord say I would be a lying uh, spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. You know? Continue on that. And he said, Thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Yeah, so the Lord was like, you know what? I like that idea. I'm, I'm with it. You know? You're going to do that and you're going to prevail. All right? So go, yeah, the Lord told him, go ahead, go ahead and make it happen. Now therefore, behold, the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these thy prophets and the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee but Zedekiah the son of uh, Chenaiah Chenaiah went near and smote Micah up on the cheek and said which way went the spirit of the Lord from me to speak unto thee and Micah ah said behold Thou shalt see in that day when thou shalt go into a inner chamber to hide thyself. And the king of Israel said, Take Micah and carry him back unto Ammon, the governor of the city, and Joash, the king's son, and say, Thus said the, thus said the king, Put this fellow in the prison and feed him with yeah, the... So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the, the king of Israel didn't like, didn't like what uh, Micah told him, which was the truth. You know, so what he do? He had him. He dismissed him from his sight. He told he told his servants to place him in in a prison. All right, you know he put him away. All right, go continue on that. And he said, "Thus said the king: Put this fellow in the prison and feed him with the bread of affliction and the water of affliction until I come in peace." Yeah, you see that? So he basically gave Micah oh, hell, man. Had them. Uh, have them bound him in, in prison, okay? Beat him, all right? Basically, uh, persecute him, man, you know? For speaking the words uh, of Yahweh, you know? And it's no different from what we're doing today. We're speaking uh, the same words of prophecy of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We're speaking condemnation to this to this whole society. We're telling Esau, we're telling these heathens, we're telling these niggas that they're all going to be destroyed. That Babylon is going to be destroyed. All right, that the Israelites are going to be risen up, starting with the elect. You know, hey man, how the RFD microchip is about to come out. The time of Jacob's trouble, like the brother referred to earlier, how the Lord is about to use Esau uh, as a sword of, of uh, executing judgment on you two third niggas, man. Those of you scoffers, you scorners, those who who who, who seek to do um, do the Lord's prophets harm, man. You know. You're, hey, this this time around it, it's different. You're not, yeah, I man. Esau can't, like I said earlier, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Esau can't even get us off these streets, man. You know, it ain't. Hey, we're we're in a different time, man. We're in the time where, hey, it's a time and season for everything. According to Ecclesiastes, the third time, uh, chapter, it's a time. It's a time for this word to, to go out, man, to be spoken, to be heard. All right, whether they hear or forbear, man. You know, this word is not going to be. Um, hindered anymore i got a precept uh real quick if, if you brothers go ahead I, yeah yeah, yeah. go ahead okay this is uh second thessalonians uh three and one finally brethren pray for us that the word of the lord yahweh shy may have free course you see that so so the, the word now is is having free course that's why we're able to be on the highways and the byways the highways and hedges and, and preach what you people will call a uh, hateful language, you know, uh, um, terroristic threat, so to speak. 
But these are all the words of Yah Bashim Shai. He he's determined to destroy America, so he sent his prophets out there. So now, right. now the Lord has set it up to where we have free course now. If we be you know, and we say that humbly, but we know we the prophets, you know. We say that humbly, you know. But we but we are the prophets because we're doing everything that that the prophets did of old. Okay, we are the same men coming back in the reincarnation. All right. Okay, Lord's will, you know, we endure to the end, but we, we say that out of our diligence of us of, 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 of us keeping this word into the end, you know. Lord's will we be part of that number. Now the, the now the, the, the word is having free course. Alright, the internet is set up. That's why Esau he wants to do away with the internet. And you niggas uh, okay, you niggas, all you can do is scoff now. You can't do nothing. Alright, you you niggas come up to the camp and you get judged. So the Lord now he's turning that judgment, he's taking that judgment from off the prophets because you you are the same generation that killed the prophets and now he's killing you and now you're going to all Israel is going to see the destruction of the two thirds, okay? Yeah. All Israel is going to see it. All right, but you know a lot of the time it's going to be too late for you to to try to repent. All right, cuz then that's when the Lord he's going to take his prophets from off the streets. Okay? Yeah. Then that's that's the ushering of the family of the word. That's why the scriptures say Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Found, you know what I mean. So the Lord, he's 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 being found right now because the Lord, he has the word, uh, he has the word going out with, uh, in that free course. Uh, continue up. Done. It says, finally, brother, and pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you, and that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men. For all men have not faith. Yeah, so all men have not faith. Because even back in the time of, of, of Yahweh Shai, in the time of Acts, yep. the, the apostles and, and, and prophets, they got put to death. You know what I mean? You you wicked niggas. That's why Paul said, pray for us to have a, a free free course, the word to have free course, because not all men have faith. And, we're, and we are in that same time now. But the Most High, he's, rever he's reversing it now. Right, the scriptures say that thy teachers should not be backed into a corner anymore, but thou shalt see thy teachers. Okay, you sh you're going to see your prophets now. You're not going to be able to come up uh, and because you don't like to hear the words of the prophets. Because just like uh, just like uh, the uh, and we were reading in Second Kings, right? Uh, what, what was the king as uh, what was his name? Oh, um, uh. What was his name? I'm trying to think. The king of Israel? Yeah, the king of Israel. I think his name was... Uh... Oh, was it, was it Jehoshaphat? No, no, I think the king of Jehoshaphat. Hold on. Uh... Oh, no, no, that was the king yeah, of... Uh, that's the king, king of Judah. Of, uh, that's the king of the Judah. South. Yeah, so I can't. Yeah, no, nah, that's all good. It was, um... Okay, Ahab. Ahab. Um, yeah, Ahab. Yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, Jehoshaphat was the king, the king of Judah. King, king of Judah. Yeah, and Ahab was the king of Israel, if I'm not mistaken. I believe so, right? When you go into the story, I believe so. you, you're not because because Ahab he got mad at the prophet Micah, ah, and when you go into the story, he's like, do 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 you have any other prophets? Basically, because this prophet every time yeah, he every yeah. time he comes, he always says something bad about me. He always says something wrong, which he ain't he ain't lying. He ain't lying, but you don't want to hear, you don't want to get right. So that's how all Israel is. They don't want to get right, so that's why they killed the prophets. But now the Lord has free court, the word has free course, so you're not gonna be able to kill the prophets now. You're gonna begin you're gonna get put to death. Okay? Oh, was that it on that eye? It kinda if, unless you had something else, I had a quick precept. Okay, yeah, you can bring out your your precept. I had a I had a precept for Jake too. Oh, okay, go on. <laughs> so, because um, so, when when this, um, you know, when this came out uh, during camp, you know, when Brother Slightly uh, touched on it, Isaiah 30 and 20 came out, and a little bit of the, uh, the Kings, you know, basically, like the Brother uh, Yahweh called now said, man, it's to, it's to a point now where you people have to eat this word, you know, how we have to eat our L's, all right, our spiritual L's, you know, our afflictions, you know, was with, 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 um, with set to have, um, for us to endure, you people have to eat this word, man. You, hey, we, we're set up to kill you people's vibe, you know, to shake, to shake your, 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 your false, uh, 
the fantasy world with with the uh, reality check, you know. And uh, but this is a uh, Hebrews chapter four verse twelve. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's right. So this word uh, discerns you, you people uh, intents, all right, your thoughts, which you meditate on, what spirit you're in. You Israelites, that is, your so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, all right, the, uh, the Lord's chosen nation. You know, this this cuts you, and that's why hey, the prophets back then. I mean, not the prophets, two thirds back then, like the brother was uh, referring to the king Ahab. He didn't like the words of Micah because it cut him. It, it was the truth, man. You know, and it, and that's why our people don't like this this word because it cuts it cuts their uh their everyday walk. You know how they live their lives. You know, because they live their lives contrary to the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. It's, at the same time, it's to a point now where you can't get us off the streets, you know? You can't stop this this word, nor the, the Lord's prophets from, from, from prophesying and from this word prospering, you know? So it's to a point now where you have to eat it, you know? You have to get cut up, all right? You have, you have no choice, man. Because all you people have to hear, uh, uh, have to uh, receive your condemnation, you know? You got to, you got to, you gotta, I, Okay, done. Yeah, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Yeah, you have to eat that. So this is a, uh, and this is what you're gonna have to eat right here. Hey, that's beautiful. This is a uh, uh, Jeremiah fifteen and one. Then said the Lord unto me, though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet yep. my mind could not be towards this people. Yep. Cast them out yeah, of my sight. That, that referred to the um. That's referring to the um the prophets and the law. You know. Hey man, like like the brother went into earlier, he wrote the first chapter. The prophets have always been around, man. You you niggas just just always hey niggas always been around too. And you always <laughs> like the scripture say you mis you misuse the prophets, man. You know. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so the Lord the Lord is basically saying, hey, though I though I had um the prophets among you, I had get I gave you my laws, statutes, and commandments. You know. And you niggas, what? You you killed the prophets, all right? You murdered them, you know. And you you despise this. You despise my word. You you went you went you went a whoring after the, after the uh, the ways of the heathen, cleaving unto your fleshly lusts, man. You know. Go ahead, I cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. Mm. Verse two. It shall come to pass if they will say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them. Thus said the Lord, such as are for death to death. Yeah, and that's that's what we're telling you guys, man. Cause we're telling you that what we all we all fail, you know. That's why we're in a strange land right now. The Lord cast us from His sight. He cast us from Israel because He's always looking over that land. That's His favorite plot of land on earth, man. And He took us out of that out of that land, and He took this knowledge from us, man. But we're in a time, we're in the end times now where the Lord's giving us back this knowledge, all right? And he's giving it, he's only giving it unto his elect, you know, Romans 11 and 7, you know? We have the uh, elect obtained that the rest have not, man, all right? And that goes, that's a, that goes to show you that this ain't for all of Israel, man, you know? But hey, we're, we're, we're telling you what's, what's for you, the rest of you niggas, death, you know? Death in various manners, man, condemnation. You know, you're, you're to be damned along with Esau, who you love so much, these heathens, you know, the women, the wicked women in this society, you know? Go ahead, I. Such as are for death to death, and such as yeah. are for the sword to the sword. Yeah, and the sword can come in various manners. It can be a literal sword, a dagger, a gun, a uh, uh, pestilence, you know? And, and uh, the ultimate sword, those thermonuclear missiles, man, them ICBM missiles, man. You know, either way, either way, it takes for uh, for for the Lord to be pleased with you being slayed, man. You know, because hey, everybody ain't on the same level of, of being judged. At the two thirds, it's a certain niggas that the Lord hates more than others. You know, and He's gonna <laughs> preserve them for a more harsher uh, and dramatic judgment. You know, it says. Such and such as are for the famine to the famine. 
Ooh, and Lamentations tell you about that. You know, it's better to be slain by the sword <laughs> than to be to go out uh, uh, by um, by famine. You know, by starvation. You know, but it's certain at the same time, it's certain guys who Yahweh by Shimei was shy. Certain niggas who Yahweh by Shimei was shy have slayed it for that for that uh, the worst the worse death of famine than than to easily be slayed by the sword. You know, that just goes, that just confirms what I just said, man. And the Lord has different different sets of judgments for different sets of niggas. You know, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good. <laughs> good, good. That's right, Doc. I'm going to read that again. As such as for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Yeah, a lot of you guys are going to get snatched up <laughs> out your cozy home, all right? <laughs> Hugging your filthy woman, all right? <laughs> having having wet dreams of pleasing Esau and getting promoted, whatever, whatever you niggas hit the lotto, whatever you niggas uh, have folly upon. Hey, man, he's going to snatch you out the crib at 3 a.m., you know? Throw you, in, throw you in them trucks and throw you in them concentration camps, man. You know? And, and torture a lot of you niggas to death, man. All right? Present the, present the microchip to you, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast. All right? You niggas gonna look at that and quit. Because you niggas don't have no hope. You don't have no faith in y'all. Y'all will buy y'all shot. So, man, you're gonna be a total reprobate. You're gonna... A lot of you niggas is gonna take the chip, man. And what? You, you, you think that's saving and preserving your life, but really... Man, you said yeah, you selling off your faith for uh, for destruction through uh, that those uh, ICBM uh, missiles, man. You're you're uh, reserving a seat for you in that in that uh, that nuclear fire. You know, the Lord the Lord got all you niggas uh, uh, right where you want you, man. You know, and we and we see it clearly, and, and it's beautiful. We love we love the whole this whole um, this whole play out that the Heavenly Father. Have put together uh, so perfectly, man. Because we actually understand it. It's like a, it's like a puzzle. All right, the only the elect, only the elect gets. You know, you put it looks, it looks like like when you get the puzzle set and you buy it, it's all the pieces are all out of place. But once you put it all together, it comes together and it, and, it, and it makes such a a beautiful masterpiece, a beautiful uh, picture that can say more than a thousand words. You know, because you actually you you actually can. Um, can uh, uh, visualize. You can see it. You know something. Something that like hey, the rest, the rest of two thirds were blinded and not able to see. You know, it, it's a, it's beautiful. You know, and you niggas, you niggas deserve every ounce of judgment you get, man. You know. Yeah, because you are the same. You are the same generation that killed the prophets. <laughs> You're coming back in the reincarnation. So it's only it's only just the Most High. He's a just power. It's only just for him to ki to put you to death now. All right, because he sent his men out there, and what did you do? You gave them the, the the bread of affliction and the water of affliction, locked them up in the prisons, beat them, stoned them, hung, uh, hung them, you know, did all type of manner of wickedness. All right, this is supposed to be your people, your brother, so to speak. All right, and the Lord, he sent his men out there, and you, and you put them to death. So now the Lord, he's going to uh, pretty much... He gonna do his best word on you niggas, man, cause this is gonna be the last go around. He ain't after this, he ain't gonna have to kill niggas no more. There's gonna be no such thing as a nigga. All right. <laughs> so so he's he's gonna do a hey, the Lord's gonna get busy, man. All right, a lot of you niggas gonna die die of the famine, man. That's gonna be the worst death. And you gonna and then what's that gonna do? That's gonna you gonna start eating your little kids, man. Them little badass mm -hmm. nigglets. You're gonna be the, the nigga woman the nigga woman's already put them in the oven. All you need is a little bit of salt now. It's some broth, right. y'all. You gonna you gonna boil you gonna boil the flesh. That's how man. That's how the Lord gets down, man. All right, to all you niggas out there that uh that want to mock mock the prophets, mock the men of the Lord, mock his teachers, you know. It Lord, the Lord's gonna mock, man. The Lord's gonna have the last laugh through his through his men. Verse verse three, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said the Lord: the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear. And the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. And, and you niggas going to be in, eaten by wild dogs, man. All them damn pit bulls you have. Them pit bulls going to turn, 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 turn on your ass. A thousand, hey, hey, like a thousand cc. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. And, and, that, and that's a skull between uh, me and the brothers. 
right? This, uh, that's this is a small, it's a real small dog. All right, it's gonna be a thousand of them motherfuckers, man. They ain't gonna eat one nigga, man. They gonna literally run in them. These wild dogs gonna run in packs, man. Not including these animals that's gonna escape uh, these uh, these uh, these zoos and these and these and these wild pre- preservatives, right? Because you gonna have like uh, activists like PETA and all that. They gonna op- they gonna open them cages, man. They gonna let they gonna let them animals loose. And you know, man, they gonna be hunting for you niggas, man. They gonna eat good in that day, man. You know, the that sword, the Esau's gonna shoot shoot a lot of you niggas. He gonna cut your head off by the guillotine. He gonna lock you in a concentration camp. You gonna be pissing and shitting on yourselves. Disease is gonna be running rampant. You gonna have flesh eating bacteria. You gonna have worms in your body. All right, no, you gonna have no type of medicine. Esau ain't gonna give your ass no medicine. All right. All he gonna do is chip your ass, man, and then you are gonna be destroyed by the nuclear missiles. All right, so a lot of a lot of uh, pains and suffering are coming to you two thirds, man. Uh, especially especially you women, man. You women gonna get it. You women gonna take the. Uh, you gonna take that, man. You gonna you gonna take a lot, man. You gonna be you gonna be in the front of catching hell. Are right, you not gonna have your feminine products no more? All right, your beauty is gonna be a curse unto you. That fat fake ass that you had. All right, that's gonna be a curse unto you. That that pretty that pretty face you had, that's gonna be a curse unto you. Are right, you gonna have a lot of niggas ra- gang raping these hoes, man? That's right. You know, a lot of women are gonna get raped and get put to death. All right. So the Lord, He not playing around this this go around, man. The Lord, He's actually gonna preserve His men. All right. Why? Because they're because His men are catching hell right now. All right, and being faithful. While you niggas is out there playing playing video games. And uh, watching LeBron dunk, and, and listening, and, and going to concerts, and listening to this 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 rap music. All right, the prophets of the Lord, they're putting in that work, man. They're standing firm, and they and they're telling you what the hell is going to befall you, man. And you and you niggas don't even you can't even conceive it. That's how that's why it's so it's going to be so beautiful when it actually happens, man. We going I'm I'm telling you, man, Lord's will. We gonna be laughing at you niggas, man, and we laugh at you niggas now. All right, Esau gonna be locking your ass up in the concentration camps, be beheading niggas, zapping niggas with laser beams. All right, your body just explode. All right, you nigga women gonna get raped. You Latino women gonna be getting raped. You Native American women gonna get raped. And we gonna, we are going to laugh. We gonna laugh at your fear, man. You know? Hey, hey I, I got a, I got a precept for you. If you was finished that one. Yeah, I'm finished. All right. Okay, kind. This is uh Job five and nineteen. He shall deliver thee in six troubles, yea, in seven there shall no evil touch thee. In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh. You see that? So the Lord, Amen. all yeah, you see that all the things that talked about in Jeremiah the 15th chapter, that's not going to befall the men of, of Yahweh Shemar Shai. The famine is not going to befall. The pestilence is not going to befall. The the uh the, the sword the sword is not going to befall. Okay, and inevitably those nuclear missiles. More importantly, yeah. that's not going to befall the the elect. They they're going to get beamed up. All right, the Lord's going to come and beam them up, and and He's going to leave you niggas here on the planet Earth to be destroyed, man. All right, and 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 and, and death. I uh, read that last part again about laughing. Good, good. It says. And, um, it says at verse 22, at destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh, man. You see that? <laughs> hey, we going we gonna to be, I mean, we going to get that deep, that deep belly laugh, man. When we hey, just. You're going to see, you're going to see hella people bugging out because they starving and shit. <laughs> you know, it's just, just really just getting demons on them because they never went. I'll pass the hour without eating. They're going to just bug out, probably slay they, they friend or some shit, start nibbling on. And then we're going to see these people just bug the hell out. <laughs> yeah, Jay going to put on, <laughs> hey, Jay going to be putting on weight in that day, man, eating good. It's going to be a surplus, you know. Jay going to be hitting push-ups and burpees, you know, staying in shape. <laughs> and all we going to do is just turn on the news or just open the door and see you niggas getting fucked up, man. Yeah. You know? We gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna we gonna see that little baby that you had, that newborn. That motherfucker gonna be pot roast, you know. Yeah, yeah. And it's not gonna be enough because you are gonna have to eat another one, man. Yeah. You know. 
the cold part about it, they're not gonna know when their next meal is gonna come and how long how long their situation is gonna even last. What's next? They, 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 the Lord is just gonna have them wondering what's next. You know, <laughs> is this my last meal? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Will I die? Will I die hungry? And the Lord is not gonna allow you to kill yourself in that day, man. Good. Are you gonna take just like the just like we gotta take this hell on uh, uh, head first? You gonna you gonna take that hell head first? But with that hell, you not you not gonna have a, a savior. Yeah. All right, the Lord's gonna leave your ass out there, man. All right, and it's gonna be beautiful, and we are gonna laugh, we gonna giggle, you know, we gonna talk about you. All right. Yeah. That that's one of the rewards of the men that stay uh, faithful until the end. You know. So, uh, if brothers if brothers had any more precepts, if you know, we can we can wrap it up. Gun, yeah, through the spirit, so yeah, that, that's that's pretty it. That's pretty much it, you know. Yeah, man. yeah, man. we're we're in a we're in a different we're in a different um time, man. All right, this this is not back back like the ancient time when um when you were able to, when you when you demons you niggas were able to get your hands on the prophets. All right, stir up commotion. All right, you know, uh, get false witnesses. You know. Stone the prophets, you know, uh, uh, crucify them, persecute them anyway, man. You, hey, this is this is a different time. The Lord is going to hey, allow allow this truth to have its free its free, its free course, okay? You know, and, and the Lord is going to raise up His men, okay? He's going to give His men spiritual power, you know, to execute it. That is as well. We're not just going to have spiritual power and just be like, hey, niggas, look look at this flying around and shooting fire. No, we're going to actually use it on you people, man. We're gonna utilize it, <laughs> you know. We're gonna we're gonna find out. We're gonna be able to play with it, man. Right when it when it happened, they can be able to fly. They gonna be flying and picking up Edomites, niggas dropping them off the buildings. Find out you can shoot fire through his hands. Start torching you niggas, burning you nigga women, fucking weed, hear you scream. You know, this is actually gonna uh, uh, come to pass, man. All right. Even Yahweh shot, man. He said. He would not meet thee as a man. He's not coming back the same way he came. He, he came two thousand years ago. You know, he's coming back as a roaring lion. Okay, and that's exactly uh, how how Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's prophets are coming. Hey man, said uh, then should they stand in great boldness, man? You know, a lion is very bold. All right, and like the brother was mentioned earlier, hey man, we're we're not we're not um we're not boasting or none of that by saying. From our apostles and elders, we believe ourselves to be of that hopeful elect. We believe ourselves to be prophets and men of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. It's confidence. We have faith. Confidence means with faith. All right? We have faith and we have the works. All right? And we have the confirmation through the Spirit. The Lord, uh, countless, uh, day in and day out, uh, always shows us that he's, he's with us. You know, always reaffirm, reaffirms us, man. So so it, it, it gets to a point where it's, 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 it's getting hard to deny it, you know? That we are the men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Or as well, from our apostles and elders on down, we be that hopeful elect, man. You know? Because, hey, man, it only it only makes sense in the spirit, man. Cause nobody else is giving their due diligence and nobody else is, is, is proclaiming this word in, in its uh, 100% purity and and, and, um, and and with so much confidence and faith, man. Back in it with works, you know? Hey, kind of, hey, kind of, hey, you know? So, you know, with that, hey, man, we want to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, double honor to our apostles and elders. And peace and blessing to the, the hopeful elect out there pushing his word of truth to the city. All right, Shalom, Akim. Shalom.